Perhaps one of the most iconic voice performances ever is James Earl Jones as Darth Vader, though of course we know he was added, his voice performance was added later, and David Prowse was on set uh, as also the physical form of Darth Vader. But what was it like on the set? Well, have a listen. And action! Lucas had never intended to use the on-set vocal performance of David Prowse. Start tearing this ship apart piece by piece until you find those tapes. Find the passengers of this vessel. I want them alive! I can still hear David Prowse's accent in the Darth Vader mask muffled because he would do the real dialogue. He's trying to curse Carrie Fisher or something. Thank you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic You mission. are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. It was hilarious and terrifying at the same time because we didn't know what Darth sounded like. That was the first time we heard him. We're like, is that it? Is it going to be some Scottish guy, or what is this? <laughs> well, as history has proven, no, it was not. Nope. And poor David Prowse did not know about this until much later, mm. when someone else's voice was dubbed in, uh, James Earl Jones. That's a really, really great role. And he, to be fair, uh, the right choice over David Prowse. Yeah, I think so. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Or something like that. <laughs> He's yeah. not intimidating. <laughs> right. Well, how could you, I mean, you could never use a performance of someone inside no. one of those masks, For though. Sure. It's like, I mean, I, I kind of wish they did, though, because that would, I, that's exactly how I sound when I wear my Darth Vader mask <laughs> at home. <laughs> sure, I, I walk around the house in my Darth Vader helmet yeah, all the time. British accent, yeah. Yeah. Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> Lucas had originally been looking at uh, Orson Welles, who had a very uh, famously deep voice. We don't have a clip of that, but here is a clip from the Transformers movie in 1985, his last role as Unicron. This is my command. You are to destroy the Autobot Matrix of leadership. So Orson Welles famously uh, had no idea what the hell he was doing when he was voicing sure, that yeah. role. And he's like, I don't, I don't know, some dumb thing, yeah. whatever. And uh, I heard a rumor that Orson Welles was notoriously like, hard to work with, especially in the vocal studio. It heard. I don't know if that's true, Here's though that. I do buy it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actors and people in public life have, a, have it kind of tough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard some things about people that I've worked with that were really great, mm -hmm. and, and people can have these little one day or few minute interactions with them and then make huge judgment calls well, on what kind of person they are. At least on his, his vocal performance, yeah. I thought that was pretty close to what they ended up doing uh, yeah. for Darth Vader. I mean, yeah. he, he would have also fit the role pretty well. Yeah. Um, but of course, there's another version of James Earl Jones' performance that was not used. When they hear you've attacked a diplomat... Hey, look, man, I ain't fighting for no race. I ain't redeeming nobody. I quit on you when you cleared out a deep trot with Willie the Pimp. Yeah, and you look out too busy to find your girl. You're selling my clothes, my ring, my silver brushes. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. Don't you pop me, girl. I'll pop you so you never forget it. You get your black ass out of here. <laughs> that is a joke. That is a joke. I did not make that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I love the internet. Yeah. That but is you know that's what Darth Vader was thinking. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, I probably would have listened to him more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, sure. I get it. Oh, right, here's the coordinate. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, but it, he, he did end up being just the perfect character, perfect actor for that character. And, uh, it's shown the test of time, and, mm. and of course, he's still being used uh, even in Rebels mm -hmm. right now, or, or the special edition of Rebels. Mm -hmm. So, what could have been? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was your look into an alternate past. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think about the performance, and also uh, poor, poor David Prowse below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.